What's good, y'all? Chris from JasticeCaseBreaks.com doing 2023 Allen and Ginter Baseball 12 box case break PYT number four. Took a little bit of a discount to get this one to the finish on, but we are all good to go. Victor with the last spot mojo grabbed the Baltimore Orioles. Got that non baseball spot up at the top as well for obviously a bunch of non baseball cards. Uh, this is a Novet common ship break as well. Only rookies, inserts, short prints, etc. Ship. Uh, we'll keep a track on. Uh, we'll keep an eye out for any of the short prints. Obviously, some of them are going to be numbered above 300 on the back. We're not going to go through every card during the break, but after the break, whether it's with me or a sorting and shipping team, we'll take care of it. Get all of those sleeves top loaded, ready to go. Thanks again to everyone. I know Sam has a bunch of teams in this one. So, appreciate everyone getting in and involved in this Allen and Ginter baseball. Strap in, folks. Put on a pot of coffee. We got some Monday Night Football to watch along with the break, too. So, we get to your first box. Has an only in Seattle. This is a non baseball card, obviously. The crickets, the chocolate covered crickets, or the grasshoppers, excuse me. So all those, you know, cards like that, bugs, rocks, trees in the past, some foods, but a bunch of obviously four athletes from other sports, actors, actresses, artists. That'll all go to the non-baseball spot, which is at Oh, you're right, they do. You're right. My first break of this. So it's going to be Seattle for the Mariners. Right back. Good call, Sam. And, of course, rip cards. We will not be ripping them for you, whether you like to rip them yourself or sell it, whatever that, you know, whatever it may be. Obviously, you can do what you want, but we will not look at the third year. Has anyone had those, uh, those chocolate-covered grasshoppers that they serve at T-Mobile Park in Seattle? Here's box one. Good luck, everyone. Like this, the Jack. Oh, it's upside down. So many of these are. So Jack Robinson, 379. That's going to be a short print. Was the Altuve? That little non-numbered black border me. Some pina coladas. This Pete Alonso is, uh, is another. Uh, Short print. Hunter Henderson. And our first hit going to be Reese Hoskins on the mini relic. Going to the Phillies and Scots. Not numbered on this one. 
Gunner on a short print going to Baltimore and Victor. Pete Alonso going to the Mets and Walter. Jackie Robinson going to, to the Dodgers and Ryan. Little baby. Wah, wah, wah. Bitch, I'm little baby. They seem pretty common, so I'm not going to sleeve up too many of them. Just our big rookies. Boy, Maze on the black border. Want to share. Shortstop doesn't touch ball. Rarest of the diamonds. Dontrell Willis. Next shot to the Nims. Gorilla Nems content creator. Welcome to the non baseball spot. And Adam on the non numbered relic. Fun in the sun, some beach soccer. I guess that is pretty fun. Boston, only in Boston, non numbered. Sharp looking little insert though. Christian Tome, Jason Worth, another short print on the minis too. Gee, it is. They're going crazy on this one. Corbin Carroll, Scoot Henderson, last hit on this box going to be a Jonathan India relic. Going back to the baseball, and the Cincinnati Reds going to go to Eddie. Alan Ginter, at the very least, is always a very good looking set. Just like great card arts. KC Webb from what do you do, Man vs. Food? Tristan Casas on them. Having a great rookie season. Ooh, that's a pretty nice looking Shohei Otani. Not a number that I can see, but we'll try to sleeve on it. Bomani Jones. There's a Francisco Alvarez rookie in there. Felt Paul Mero on that last one. Kind of wedding invitation themed, I dig it. Going to the Angels though. And Sam. All the Corbin Carrolls as well going to Sam. We got the Diamondbacks as well. So we'll throw the short prints here. We'll throw the minis to the left of those. Box two. Size box loader card, throw it right behind.
Okay, Joe Mixon touchdown. Bengals take the lead here. Alright. So, with our oversized box loader card. Be Justin Verlander. That's Mets edition on the Justin Verlander. I'm gonna go to Walter. I'm gonna Henderson base rookie. The Brett Baby black frame mini. The Great Barrier Reef. First hit gonna be Cal Ripken Jr. Green frame mini bat relic. Last stop Mojo and Victor with the Baltimore Orioles. of these are short prints, aren't they? So maybe they are. Oh, man. Got an A-Rod. That's Rangers Edition A-Rod. Texas is Sam. Man, I wish they were all on those little shrimp upside down, just like the first box. Hidden was snacky on the mini. And our first auto, gonna be Nina O'Brien. Little gold frame mini auto. Winter Games athlete Nina O'Brien. That's going to go to the non baseball spot and Adam Kupperman. But did she win? I don't know. It was Natalie Rushman, though. For Victor and Baltimore. Yama base card in their last hit. Gonna be another relic 
for non-baseball on Adam, Ari Chambers. All right, Chambers on the non-numbered relic. Corbin Carroll short print. That's a score offers on the black border mini. Corbin Carroll short print for the D backs and Sam. 368 right there. That's a catch. Have you seen this yet? No, we finally had a retro yeah. back there, huh? Want to show the people? It's pretty cool. So we finally had our first retro for some Bowman Chrome. I mean, this I don't know. Was pretty between, good. Between all the breakers, I don't think anyone's hit one at all. Joined the Red Sox in July 1914. Dominant pitcher who helps himself with the plate. Mixed fastball and curve to keep opponents guessing. Wields a 42 ounce bat. Stafford, of course, interception. Father, George Sr. sold lightning rods and operated a streetcar. Also staffed third base, shortstop and catcher in school despite being a lefty. It's pretty cool, man. I, I was like, I was almost kind of stunned. I, I was just like, wait a second, that's Babe Ruth. We finally hit one. How many cases have we done? I mean, I'll Here or there? Between all of us, between me, Personals, Teddy, four. Michael, Jason, all of us. That's pretty damn yeah, cool. How many boxes we sold out of the shop, cases we sold out of the shop. Another oversized box. It's pretty cool. Back to the fun stuff now. So I'm assuming it's every card, no it's not every card before, a mini. First hit going to be Eric Hosmer, Cubs edition Eric Hosmer, and good for the immaculate grid. Chicago Cubs and Sam.
Cole Raggins having a pretty nice rookie season on the rookie there. There's Kevin Hart. Next hit, another Jersey Relic. Pudge Rodriguez. Texas Rangers edition for Pudge. Going to go to Sam. Let me see here. So I know he was on the Rangers, Nationals, Tigers. So Tigers would have been Chad. Nationals would have been Sam. Marlins would have been Sam. Yankees? He was a Yankee for a second. Sam. I think of all the teams Pudge could have been to, and it still would have gone to Sam. Another immaculate guy. The big immaculate grid guy, that Pudge Rodriguez. Am I missing anybody? Henderson. Last hit going to be a Josh Bell bat relic. Piece of the lumber. That's Guardians edition Josh Bell. Going to go to Eddie. Check. For sure, short print. Got an Alec Bohm. There's a big apple. Not the big apple, just a, a big apple. To our oversized box topper, my bad, y'all. Silly me. Go to Mookie Betts. Dodgers edition on the Mookie Betts. Gonna go to Ryan. regular box or card inside. Nice, got hot, our hot box here. Nice. So even though they're all base cards, uh, all of these hot box cards will ship.
cotton box. Teas, glass now. There's a Corbin Carroll. Another Jonathan India relic, bat relic this time. One more for Eddie and the Reds. Shams Mini. Uh, Henderson. Uh, David Ortiz going to Boston and Steven. Houston. John DiMaggio shouts out. And a nice auto, Christopher Morell. On the gold frame mini auto. Chicago Cubs and Sam. Nice hit. Christopher Morell. Nice one. Chrissy Matthews hung upside down for no reason, just for fun. Old time hockey, the TikTok dude? Sure. Sure. Big ASMR guy. Next hit gonna be Dustin May. On the Jersey relic for the Dodgers and Ryan. Texas with the Pudge statue up front. Rangers. What is that?
Uh, short print or uh, Henderson there's Luis Aparicio on the short print first hit going to be Whit Merrifield on the Jersey Relic for Toronto and Sam on the short print. Next auto, Bintliff. Another non baseball for Adam. It is Jim Bintliff. Baseball mud supplier. On the gold frame mini auto. Clean on the mini. Big mud guy. Allen Street. Big mud guy. Green frame, green frame mini relic of Adrian Beltre. That's Rangers edition. One more for Sam. Pretty cool. Shouts out my guy Daryl. Really a third of Run DMC. He's the king of rock. There is not higher. Sucker MCs. Should call him Sire. If I for freedom, you must choose fire. Won't stop rock until I retire. Size box topper.
he's up there for sure. Just a little bowling ball. What are you gonna do against him, you know? It's unstoppable. Just hope we can stay healthy. I want like a couple more full healthy seasons of Aaron Donald before he calls it a career. All timer right there, brother. Here's a Calvin King Jr. mini that kind of slipped through the cracks there. So I'll leave it right there. Shut off our mini pile. Bows are short. There's an eagle, a bald eagle even. This Ichiro for sure is. Marlin's Ichiro with the shades. Pretty cool looking card. Next is gonna be Chris Bryant, piece of the Bat Relic. Rockies edition. We're gonna to go to Aaron. One of the last teams picked up. Got some fish and chips. I do like fish and chips, pretty yummy. Benson. Let me see. I'm starting to see the pattern with some of the short prints. Mostly the older players. Right, that's pretty cool. Old time hockey with the little piece of the flannel. Like a flannel shirt just like I'm wearing. Pretty cool. Looks like a one, two, three, four color patch. Pretty cool. Just a just a flannel shirt from the uh, from the closet from the wardrobe. John Walker man. So is there a mirrors is for sure a short print, but it's not. I'll eat my hat. Yeah, turn five. Another Something's up, man. I was talking about with Joe at dinner. Is that if it's a calf thing, then you know, it is what it is, but also, isn't this the second season in a row where he just played zero preseason and he's come into the season looking super rusty? Like, why don't they have him play? Like, even just like a little bit in the preseason. If they do the same thing next season, um, yeah. that's Cincy. Cincy Bengal things. Sorry, Bengals fans. Get you guys warmed up for the season. Spawn Soto is. 
Next relic going to be Tommy Pham, Mets edition on the Bat Relic. Going to Walter on the Mets. Gotta be a short. Kansas City only in the park. Jose Reyes. Jose Reyes is a short print. J-Rod is also a short point. Okay. Let's do one more oversized box loader card. One more Mookie Betts. On the oversized box loader for Ryan and the Dodgers. All right, second half of the case up now. Another oversized box loader. Jimmy Rollins on the relic jersey patch there for the Phillies. Going to go Scott. Yeah. 
I think that's... I don't know what's going on, man. I feel like QBs have been having some pretty poor play throughout this season. Not Kirk Cousins. That's the man right there. Apparently. And Tua, the GOAT. Corey Kelly. Gio Urshela. Sandoval on the mini. Oh, nice. Hunter Pence on the mini auto. Giants edition Hunter Pence, Hunter Pence the world champ. That's going to go to Eddie. Nice. Hunter Pence on the auto. Heck of a player. Look, we're doing it, but. That dude could definitely play a ball. Ernzy. Tatis is a short print. Bucky Dent is a short print. That's a tough one right there. But that being said, the easiest rip card decision is Wander, right? He's got a couple of them. So you see a Wander that's a rip card, obviously. It's just crack that bad boy open, you know? Babies are short. Williams is not a short from shock. Trey Turner, this tough one is in shorts. Next up, gonna be Trey Mancini. No, I know, but I'm just saying that the opposite end of it, if you get a rip card and it is Wander, it's an easy rip. Or Julio Urias, you know? Easy, easy choices for the rips. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I I think for some reason there is a market for Wander right now, which I think is kind of crazy. So people who are like, give me your Wanders for cheap, just in case. And it's like, do you want to be that guy? You still, even after all this, you still want to be the Wander guy? Next one up. There's J Rod on the box loader. Oversized for the Mariners and Eric. One more 
oversized. Some people, more than some people do some strange things for the hobby. Menu. It's one thing when it's uh, one person and, you know, it's like their mom is doing it and she was, whatever. That first one is whatever, but when there's numerous, multiple cases, that's, that's it. You're done. It's like Monopoly. How about he goes directly to jail? Do not pass down. Do not do not collect a paycheck in Japan. Zombies there will be added to the minis pile. I wonder if that's because they put him on like the full administrative leave or whatever, and not just like the week to week of renewing it. So like, no, go away. Or I wonder how much of it is just because it's being handled out of the country. I, uh, I'm just I'm not going to pay attention to it. Alright, this is box 8 now. Andre Ethier shouts out on the short front. One of my all time favorite players for the Dodgers. The original Captain Clutch. Judge for sure the shorts. Yeah, but like, it's, you know. For stuff like that, it really is innocent until proven. Guilty until proven innocent, which probably should be. Like, that's a different kind of thing we're talking about. So, in other ways, there's his teammate, ex teammate, I guess now. Randy Rosarina on the Jersey Relic, going to the Tampa Bay Rays, and Kevin. We like Randy. on the mini. Oh yeah. He's he's done. In a contract year two, we're not re-signing him. Uh, I'd be shocked if some team signs him in the following year. He's another guy that's probably done for a while. I still think some some crappy team will sign him. Or he'll go to Japan, or he'll go play in a couple different Mexico leagues. But he's he is done. So, it's so easy not to be a scumbag. And people still do it. There's Alex Verdugo on the Jersey Relic for the Red Sox. And Steven. Here's.
You know what I'm talking about? I have no fitty vibes. That's all right. That's There's an update on the story, like, over the weekend, I think, where it's uh, apparently, you know, the woman that he was with, that he did that to, the victim, uh, was bloodied, beaten and bloody at the soccer game they were at. So, you know, he's, he's done. He's done. Gordon Carroll. Carol short print. Furlander is a short. Last end of this box will be a Pete Alonzo relic for the Mets. To Walter. Walter. The yeah. Castellanos Mini. Vladdy is a short. Trout Mini. I haven't seen one of these, but in action, Michael Harris. Pretty cool, throw a sleeve on it. In action, Michael Harris. For the Atlanta Braves, your reigning NL Rookie of the Year. It's going to Steve. It's an Adley short print, pretty cool. Peter Downs Rookie, some poutine, very yummy. I haven't had poutine in a, a second, but very yummy. Very good. If you guys haven't had poutine, you know, try to get it with the cheese curd. It's very authentic that way. Very yummy. If you want, I won't do it. It's not a rub card, but you know, it's Wander. Just the man, just the, you know, speak of the devil and he shall appear type joint. Hey, the Monday night games have been kind of butt this year. What's going on? Another oversized. This Bengals Rams game hasn't been very good. That Steelers game was pretty bad. <laughs> and even the secondary games, you know? Like, uh, Eagles Buccaneers was whatever. 
It was what, Panthers Saints last last week was the other game? I know the Panthers were playing. That game kind of stunk. And then, oh man, <laughs> Jets Bills was just a horrible game. Injuries and poor play all around. Matt Stafford has been sacked five times. Jesus Christ. Isn't this dude, like, concussion prone? I'm not even talking, I'm not even bringing age into it, too, or, you know. One, one bad hit on him can mess up an arm or a leg or a rib. Just protect the guy. So he can you know, live. Box nine. We're getting there, folks. We really are. That's the Weaver Tour Black Mini. I'm the rookie. First hit going to be Edwin Diaz, Jersey Relic, for the Mets. One more for Walter. I wonder how different this season is for the Mets. If they have a, you know, a healthy Edwin Diaz out of the pen, doesn't hurt himself in the WBC. I don't think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I will not be doing a second case of Allen against it tonight. Sushi, very yummy. Next, all gonna be Jai Juan Bay. Gold frame mini rookie auto for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Going to Aaron. Jai Juan Bay on the rookie auto. David Eckstein, nice. Cardinals edition on the David Eckstein. You're pretty good. Couple times a world champ. One with that Cardinals team, one with that 0-2 Angels team. of the diamond stealing second third and home in one appearance okay not numbered but maybe a little more rare 
Another mini relic going to be Frank Thomas. Green frame mini bat relic for the White Sox and Aaron. Interesting. Just rare to the diamonds. Corbin Carroll. Juan Soto on the oversized box loader. Padres going to Sam. Our oversized. The rookie is a fifth rounder. Oh, great, great catch. Make this a little interesting here. That is a lot of net, a lot of nothing. That's a, a Rams toddy to Atwell with his first of the season. First hit gonna be Gary Carter. Green relic mini for the Mets. One more for Walter. Next edition on the Gary Carter. Christian Walker on the black border mini. John Cruck for the Phillies. Thank you. 
Tom, Tom Sandoval on the auto. Musician, reality star, TV personality. I think that's one way to put it. Everyone's favorite, Tom Sandoval. We're going to the non baseball spot and Adam. I think he was on Vanderpump Rules. My mom definitely knows who he is. She watches a show like that that he's on. Brian Bale on the Black Border Mini. Uh, he seems like a bit of a tool. He's popped up on my TikTok feed. He's like just he doesn't like cover like he doesn't like a, like a cover band and he's fine. I don't know. I don't know anything about him. Another rarest of the diamond, triple crown. Fun in the sun, building a sand castle. Pretty fun. Next is gonna be a Alejandro Kirk jersey relic. One more for Toronto and Sam. It doesn't matter. Got an Adley. I think his gunner is a short print as well. Both of those going to Victor and the Orioles. Yeah, 377 on the gun R. Cool Pete Alonzo short print there. With the shush. It's a DL Hall. One more for Baltimore. That's going to be a ball game, though. Bengals will win 19 to 16. But when their first game of the season, but I think the main thing is that, man, Joe Burrow's got to figure some stuff out, huh? Next up, next Mike Trout, oversized box loader. So I'm saying, the only grip card I saw was Wander Franco, and that's just, you know, on principle. That's on sight right there, you know? Looking for any kind of rip card here from someone, though. Oversized box topper. Yeah, this game sucked. <laughs> Burrow's got shit to figure out. He had a couple drives though where he looked good. So many right here. We'll start the mini pile. It is Jefferson White. I'm gonna you. All right, second to last box here, y'all.
Mariners are down 5 nothing. top of the 8th here to the Astros. This is a huge series, yeah? This is first and second place pretty much being decided. This is a big series, holy moly. on the black border. There's Trey Mancini. Another bat relic for Trey Mancini and the Cubs. And Sam. See if the Mariners can start coming back here. Bottom of the eighth coming up. They gotta make some noise. They gotta make some noise here. This first game of a few of the most important series of the playoff season. There's a Matt Olson jersey relic for the Braves and Steven. Big, big bopper. to finish top five in MVP. For sure. And the rarest of the diamond. 20 strikeout game. There's an Adley. Is it King Felix Hernandez? It's the man right there. Seattle. Toronto in the game. And a Waters? Not Drew Waters. For the non baseball ball. And Lee Waters, professional pickleball player. Wow. Never played pickleball. Seems to be played. I don't know if it's for me. And Lee Waters. Lay, Lee, Lee. But to the non baseball spot and Adam. There's a yawn. Her name is, maybe it's about the dots, who knows? Captain Sandy Yawn. Bravo's Below Deck Mediterranean. Jacob DeGrom on the oversized box loader. That's one more for Texas and Sam. And then there was one. Twelfth and final box. Almost an hour and a half in. Told y'all to get the pot of coffee on. 
One more oversized box top, box loader. Something that will work hard for someone here. 12th and final box. Justin Verlander, by the way, is still out here. 87 pitches in in the bottom of the eighth with one out. He's given up no runs. This is the guy he's traded for, you know? But the guy that they are at least hoping to see. A Vita Blue fell out, so a Vita Blue for a mini pile. So through the cracks. Best signing in Mets history right there. Super worth it. Jason Bay and Justin Verland are the two best signing in Mets history. We're rooting for him. Let's get all, like, if, man, if all the Acunas, like, finish top three in MVP one season, or let's say, you know, Brian stays on the Twins, he wins AL MVP, either Luis on Hell or Ronald win NL MVP. That'd be so sick. All right, 12th, final, last box here, y'all. Let's get it. Let's grab a rip card here. Yeah. Oh, nice. Derek Jeter on the Jersey Rally. It's pretty nice for the Jankies. Going to go to Sam. El Capitan. Nice. It's pretty good. That guy was pretty good. Yeah, Jeets. Yeah, Jeets. Gunner, gonna wanna. Well, like I said, this is a, I think, a very easy decision. It is a Wander Franco rip card in the last box. Tampa Bay Rays, that's gonna go to Kevin. Like I said, we will not rip this card for you. Of course, it's up to the discretion of whoever owns this card. But, yeah. Very easy, 187 out of 199. Kevin, that's not how it goes. I always like knowing how the rip cards go. Rest of the diamond hitting for the cycle. Easy, that is the easiest rip card of all time. It's, it's not even close. Yeah, I, I am not a financial expert, you know, I am not, you know, whatever they say, but we know. We know what to do.
Easy peasy. <laughs> yeah, I wish it was 199 out of 199, so it would have been for sure the last of the last. It would have been fun. What's up, Duncan? How's it going, man? You know, sometimes the red cards are like, you know, uh, an actual, you know, you gotta think about it, you know, if it's a big rookie, like, you know, Abby Rutschman, your Corbin Carroll, big vet like Shohei, like, do you? You know? Because it's got, you know, it's a numbered Shohei, it's a numbered big rookie. So Alejandro Kirk gonna be our last relic, but for that one, yeah. Just, just hurt. One more Alejandro Kirk jersey relic for Sam and the Blue Jays. Some falafel, very yummy. Jay Baldwin, shouts out Jay Baldwin. There's the knockout artist, and then there's the knocked out artist, Tim Anderson. One more, got John Crow stand on the little uh, little foil here. And there we go, folks. We got one more oversized box loader. Feels a little thin, don't think it's a. A, a rip card, but it is one more Julio Rodriguez. Nice J Rod and all of its glory towering over the rest of these puny mortal cards. Just kidding, you guys are all, all, all great in your own eyes. All right, let's just go through some of the hits I have top loaded. All of our Jersey Rocks are Wander Franco rip cards. Once again, Kevin, let us know how it goes. Tom Sandoval on the auto, Jaiwan Bay auto, Hunter Pence on the auto, Giants edition. I wonder if all time hockey is an actual hook to the hawk, uh, hobby. There's Jim Blintoff, baseball mud supplier. There's Christopher Morrell, nice rookie auto there, actually. Some Hall of Famers. Some rookies, some vets, some personalities outside of the field. And there we go. Thanks again, y'all. Uh, I'll have another case loaded up uh, in a moment. Jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks again. Bye-bye.